If you eat butter, then your health might be in danger. Hey, my name is Seamland, and today we're gonna talk about this news that showed how Kerrygold, the uh, one of the most famous butters in the world, they're implicated in some class action because their foil packaging contains these plastics and uh, forever chemicals. Do it! So this is the news that I came across. Uh, Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter contains forever chemicals, class action alleges. So February 14, 2023, Kerrygold Butter faces a proposed class action that alleges the pure Irish butter products foil packaging that it contains synthetic forever chemicals and uh, if you don't know then yeah like the packaging itself looks like this it's this um, looks like foil and uh, apparently this contains these uh, forever forever chemicals the 35 page complaint says Kerrygold butter sought after for its rich flavor and creamy texture <laughs> attributed to grass-fed cows is falsely advertised as pure Irish butter given that the sticks contain per and polyfluoroalkyl substances, PFAS, and they're known as these uh, forever chemicals because they're, you know, thought to accumulate in the body these different kinds of uh, xenoestrogens and they stick around, they can cause different kinds of, you know, hormonal disruptions and uh, health problems. Kerrygold butter was recently pulled from store shelves in New York and California due to the presence of PFAS in the butter's packaging, the lawsuit uh, shares. Both states have rules pro prohibiting uh, food packaging from containing PFAS and, uh, yeah, this uh, PFAX S actually is uh, something that uh, many of even like mainstream and you know commercial let's say retailers and uh, authorities begin to realize that uh, these things can be actually quite harmful to your health and they do stick around in your body for a long time. Yeah. Stick around. However, fortunately, there are ways to actually detoxify these uh, forever chemicals, as they're called. So they're not really forever chemicals. They do have some negative effects on your health. They can cause hormonal disruption. And if you, yeah, like pretty much are exposed to them in very large quantities, especially direct exposure from these uh, factories that are producing these chemicals and plastics, etc., then yeah, your health is probably in a lot of danger. But if you're like half exposed to them from exposure to like uh, these, uh, you know, butter packaging, uh, foil packaging, or you touch a receipt, then uh, yeah, I mean, they do contribute to your body's burden of these uh, forever chemicals and uh, xenoestrogens, but they're, as I said, like they're not uh, forever. You can definitely detoxify them. And one of the main ways to actually detoxify them is through sweat. So sweating is the main like detoxification pathway in the body. And uh, you can eliminate pretty much, you know, all heavy metals, uh, different kinds of plastics, uh, chemicals, and uh, pesticides even uh, from your sweat. There's also different kinds of binders and uh, compounds that also bind to these uh, chemicals and uh, toxins. So chlorella, you can find it from algae. That's a very potent chelator of uh, many compounds, including like iron, but it also binds to obviously these toxins and xenoestrogens. So definitely consuming some of these binders around the sauna session, especially can be one of the you know most potent uh, timing, uh, most potent time uh, to do so. Let's continue with the lawsuit. Uh, insofar as PFAS made its way into defendants' products on purpose, it should have been listed on the product's labeling. The complaint reads, insofar as it made its way into products by accident, it follows that it was due to poor manufacturing process by either defendant and or their agents. The lawsuit says that diet is a major avenue for exposure to PFAS. So yeah, like this kind of uh, PFAS, these forever chemicals are in all, pretty much all, this food packaging, including uh, coffee cups. They all contain also these kind of uh, chemicals and uh, yeah, food packaging, all of it, pretty much, pretty much all, most of the food, especially if you heat it up, is going to contain forever chemicals. PFAS have been associated with myriad negative health effects, including reproductive issues, developmental concerns in children, and an increased risk of some cancers. Reasonable consumers would not have bought the product had they known it contained synthetic chemicals that could harm their health which I agree, you know, most people don't really care or they're not aware even of the forever chemicals. So the average normie, normie like the average normal person probably would have still bought the uh, same butter if they knew it. But let's say a more health conscious person, especially someone who watches the channel, probably would have uh, avoided buying uh, these kinds of uh, products. IrishCentral.com reported in January that Kerrygold Butter would soon be returning to US store shelves after the company made some changes to its packaging due to New York and California regulatory requirements that went into effect on December 31st, 2022 and January 1st, 2023. Now, personally, I don't eat uh, pretty much any butter. I get all the other vitamins and minerals that you would get from butter from other sources. So I'm like, I prefer to get the fats as well as the micronutrients from whole foods. But I know that many people who watch this channel 
channel do consume butter, especially Kerrygold butter, which is considered to be one of the healthiest butters because it's grass-fed, but turns out it actually contains these uh, forever chemicals. So in conclusion, yes, most processed foods, pretty much all packaging, uh, especially if you heat it up, contains these uh, xenoestrogens and plastics and uh, forever chemicals, but you can definitely eliminate them through sweat primarily. You can sweat in a sauna, you can sweat while exercising uh, and you can also take some of these binders that can pretty much help to bolster your antioxidant defense as well as uh, bind to some of these toxins. Do you want to slow down aging? If you do, I'm looking for a few more people who want to reverse their biological clock. If you're interested, then send me an email to info at seamland.com and I'll send you all the details. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seam. Stay optimized, stay empowered.